Wilderness Preservation, Good for Humanity and Good for the Earth. What is a wilderness area? The Wild Foundation defines a wilderness area as having two qualities, a place that is mostly biologically intact and a place that is legally protected so that it remains wild, free of industrial infrastructure, and open to traditional indigenous use or low impact recreation. These places are not necessarily untouched by humanity as such places are incredibly rare, but a concerted effort is made to protect the area from further development. Why is it worth preserving? The primary goal of wilderness preservation is to give endangered species a habitat that is as undisturbed as possible. Conserving our natural resources will ensure that we have sustainable water, soil, and timber to use from our public lands. The natural biodiversity is preserved as well, as forests and wilderness areas can even provide cures for diseases using wild plants and animals. Protection of wilderness areas can be justified by two separate philosophies anthropocentrism and ecocentrism. In the United States, conservation is anthropocentric and environmentalism is ecocentric. From a human-centered perspective, public lands offer recreational opportunities like hiking and fishing. From an ecocentric perspective, the plants and animals that call this land home have intrinsic value on their own and we are duty bound to protect the environment since we have the means to do so. What does it cost? Money spent to maintain wilderness areas could be used for humanitarian aid, and the land could be developed for productive government use. Unfortunately, the costs for conservation are rarely reported, a fact confirmed when the University of Cambridge's Conservation Science Group found that only 13% of wildlife studies report operating costs. This lack of consistency makes additional government spending on environmental causes harder to justify since the benefits cannot be easily quantified. There is a global push to increase spending on environmental preservation, such as the French Legacy Landscapes Fund and a recent German contribution of $1 billion in support of the United Nations Biodiversity Convention. Despite these efforts, experts warn that rich countries and investors still need to pledge far more to developing nations to protect the world's endangered plants and animals. What is the National Wilderness Preservation System? As more Americans started to drive further and longer, public concern emerged over the quality of our air and water. This was the primary basis behind the conservation movement intended to protect our wilderness areas. After nearly a decade of rewrites, the Wilderness Act of 1964 was passed, establishing the National Wilderness Preservation System, or NWPS for short. The system went into effect immediately, starting with the Great Swamp in New Jersey, then Craters of the Moon National Monument, to a staggering 111 million acres of protected wilderness areas today. Most of the wilderness areas are in national forests, like the Shining Rock Wilderness in Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. The lands are managed by the Bureau of Land Management, U.S. Forest Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and National Park Service. By preserving our public lands, we leave behind a snapshot of the natural world for future generations to enjoy and study. Thank you very much, Thank for, your you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And have a nice day. And have a nice day.